I want to go back to Roosevelt Inn. I want my wife. Get my wife. Bring her to me if you believe in Jesus Christ. Stay back. Stay back. I'm telling you. Don't you dare. Don't dare try to open that back door. Yeah. And that is the voice of the man who led Philadelphia police for a nearly 90-minute wild ride last night after he stole an ambulance in the Northeast. You heard him yelling at police and asking to see his wife. Now, this chase started out as a domestic disturbance, but it did not end there. NBC 10's Brandon Hudson has more. Seeing 20 cop cars, five helicopters going around. I was just shocked. Witnesses describe a chaotic joyride through Northeast Philly in a stolen ambulance. Sky Force 10 above the Roosevelt Inn parking lot at 920 last night. After a confrontation with cops, a man in his underwear hops in an ambulance. The driver plows into parked patrol cars and stops. Officers cautiously approach the ambulance, some with guns drawn. A police officer opens the door, but the man floors it. He starts a wild ride after police shot him three times. Our eye in the sky tracks the ambulance through residential streets with lights flashing. Moments later, the man T-bones an innocent driver. After more than an hour on the road, the chase ends when police use spike strips to flatten the ambulance tires. Police rush the vehicle. Two officers struggle to pull the driver out by his legs. Guys, guys, back up. Officers control the crowd as they take the thief into custody. His underwear barely hanging on, and he had a taser line dragging behind him. A closer look shows a bearded man in his 40s, eyes glossed over. The end of a night that some will never forget. Things like things like this happen all the time on the news and stuff, but it's never around like this area. yeah, it's never around here. It's never like close to home. Philly police say this all started as a domestic dispute. In total, the driver hit two cop cars, a tow truck, some other cars, and indirectly caused another crash too. One officer had a minor injury. This could have been a lot worse. A lot of people, not, it could have been a lot more accidents, a lot more collisions, I should say, and, and the injuries could have been a lot more severe. In Northeast Philly, Brandon Hudson, NBC 10 News.